start i've never heard that Are, you weren't here oh, you weren't here last year were you i think for I, christmas no you no, weren't i was in wisconsin yeah coon i mean what better way to start our our traditional christmas episode than with Jeez. the rare form christmas song it's beautiful. i almost started to cry that is one of the it is looking listen licking 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 look in here it is one of the more uh beautiful compositions that he did it's like Gorgeous. it's soulful yeah and there's some humor in there but yeah. it's very um i do it like gets that right in there millions yeah which is <laughs> very generous considering uh if you look at our numbers we're scraping the dozens but Thank you, Coon, for that. Law of attraction. Merry Christmas, everybody, and to all a good night. Is that how it goes? Mm-hmm. Is that what it is? Uh, no, really, you're asking me. Oh, <laughs> you're not one of those. Um, you can't tell, but um, right off camera, we have a nice little campfire going on. We're, we got oh, the chestnuts. Are they almost yeah, done? I believe they're roasting. Okay, they're getting close. Mm-hmm. So by the time we're done, we're going to have some very, very roasted chestnuts. Um, all the Christmas lights are just out of frame. You can't see all the Christmas lights. Where are they? Can you hear the, wait, do you hear that? Mm-hmm. Is it the reindeer? The pitter patter of reindeer <laughs> on the roof. Even though we're on the bottom floor of an apartment building, I can hear them all the way up there. <laughs> Merry Christmas it's your all. Na- neighbors upstairs. Yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> ra- well, I, I never told you that our neighbors are reindeer. So it, they're oh, annoying. They're annoying. 11 months of the year, mm-hmm. they're super annoying. But for one month. Yeah. It's pretty fucking cool to have reindeer neighbors. That's really cool. Um, before we get started on too much uh, Christmas cheer, mm-hmm. can we welcome someone? Well, not really welcome. Mm-hmm. One of our lovely Patreon supporters has upped their tier to unlock more access to bonus episodes. So can we please, 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 please thank Alexis McCarty for the upgrade. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your stay. Alexis McCarty. Alexis McCarty. Alexis McCarty. Um, enjoy, and everyone else, you know where to go. Patreon.com cool slash Rareform Radio. Heidi. Yes, sir. Um, we just referenced, if you look over to your left, the mm-hmm. uh, the fire where yeah. the chestnuts are. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know why you're looking up and down. It's, no, it's only in one spot. <laughs> might be hard to see where you're at. But um, I you, can smell them. Yeah, that's nice, the right? Yeah, they're nutty. It's fun, <laughs> such a nut smell in here. Um, you uh, hit us with a bombshell when you walked in that... The reason you you were a little postponed today is because you almost burned your house down again. <laughs> Wait, again? Again. Mm-hmm. Remember you left a pot on the... Kettle. St- a, a kettle on that, that melted or was burning oh, a couple yeah. months ago. Oh, my the God. The same day that we had a fire in here because Darren left one of my uh, Yeti tops on the, on the oh, flame. Oh, I forgot about that. So... No... <laughs> I'm like, no wonder I have a new ke- kettle. Okay. Yeah, because you burned, you murdered the other I one. I totally forgot. So what that happened this time? Horrible. So today I went and bought a flatbread at Gelson's. They have them in like the, you know. They Gelson's is, is the fancy ass uh, grocery, one, one of the fancy ass grocery stores here in yeah, Los Angeles. Or maybe it was Ralph's. I don't know. They're one both of those. up there. They're yeah. almost on par. Just don't yeah. go to John's. That's the most lame one. Ooh. Ooh. John, John's is okay. No, it's not. People. It's a yeah. real, what? Embrace all shoppers. No, it's a rip off of Vons. It's well, right. Vons is V O N S. Johns is J O N S in the same font. Logo. So that's same true. color, oh, that's same right. font. Oh, I never thought about that. We should that. open. We should so open Gals good. and just <laughs> have it the same font. <laughs> so funny. Right. Come get um. your, all your clothes at Bargain. <laughs> Bargain. So anyway. Bargain. Um. Back to you. So. Put a uh, a flatbread, so it's not like a regular pizza. So the crust wasn't so hard. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't. It was longer, and it was kind of like like, and it said to take it. Or, you know what I mean? Like it was. Yeah. Was it raw? Squirrely. No, it was. It was a. Uh, uh, what's the word? It. It, it was a pre- pliable. 
Was it par, was it, yeah. par cooked or was it just dough? Uh, Had it, it been started? Maybe. Because it, anyway, it wasn't frozen. It wasn't a stiff okay. pizza. Right. It was the one that they like do there mm-hmm. and then you take it and... So I put it in my oven and my oven is clean. Like it... <laughs> oh boy. And I'm sitting... On my love seat because I have a little <laughs> studio. It's not <laughs> so I love don't have seat a, for one, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a large home. Looking for love, and I'm on Instagram posting a photo of myself from yesteryears. The blonde base one. Yes, the base. I mean, we're gonna talk about that. That's so. I'm like looking at that, and I was looking at other things, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll po- maybe I'll post that, and then all of a sudden I'm like, hmm. <laughs> What's that smell? And then all of a sudden, is that my, is that my chestnuts? Beep, beep, beep. And I was like, oh! And I threw my phone down and I opened up and there was like little sparks because the cheese and everything had fallen down. And I have a gas stove. I don't know how, but it started. <laughs> Isn't it is inside the oven? Mm-hmm. When it drips down, sometimes. Yeah, I but guess shouldn't there ovens was... be okay with things falling that are burning? No, I guess it, there was. There must have been a little bit of stuff on the bottom because there was a tray under it, uh-huh. so it catches everything. So uh-huh. it's not just like nothing. Okay, right, sure. And I don't know what happened, but I, I'm not the. I mean, I'm not the best cook, but like all I had to do was put it on four hundred and like. It's pretty. That's a like kid stuff, kind of. But it was like. Bad. It was like fire, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And the beeping, the beeping sound freaks me out. So I had to mm. open up all my windows. It was fucking freezing here. <laughs> open up all my windows. My Christmas tree that you guys got me. I was like, "Oh no!" Did it burn? No, but oh. I was like, "Oh no!" And I unplugged it for some god awful reason. And like, were you on mushrooms by chance? It's like you did a lot of a very roundabout way to put a fire out in your oven. No, and then I, you know, I turned it off right, right, right away. I, I knocked up the the thing. Like, What's you got that? it pregnant? What yeah. Fuck is that? <laughs> The, the flume? Um, my cooking in your fireplace? No, like I, uh, um, what do you call it? I don't know. You have like my a sweeper. Oh, I thought you were my ramming. Broom. I thought you were ramming thought up ramming into it. something. I in the, no, yeah. I was. So I took the broom and I rammed it into the, oh, the smoke dete- yeah. detector, oh, and it went off finally because I could hear all my na- neighbors. Mira, mira, oh, Dios mío, oh, whatever. And I was like, oh no, like the. Fireman gonna be called and like we have had so many shit. times we have to take the fire uh, fire alarm mm. right, smoke alarm mm, yeah, off the wall and we put it in the freezer because it will it just will not stop going mm. off and like we oh, still hear we can still, well we can still hear it in the freezer so <laughs> like you go and you pack all the food around it and it, stop it, it it goes on and on are you and on. serious yeah it just like doesn't stop yeah and like that's crazy. the funny Creepy. we get so upset. But it's just trying to save our lives, and we get so angry it's like, at it. Right. It's like, a, it's like right. a car alarm. Like right. we get so angry at car alarms. Like oh, it's so annoying. But someone might be trying to steal your car. Right. right. I've but never was... heard a car alarm and thought someone's trying to steal a car. Never. I'm like, oh, fucking idiot. Someone hit, hit their keys or yep, stealing their same. keys. Yep. But so I was like, a, I was happy that it works, and it works yeah. well. But the, I'm the just... oven or the smoke alarm. The smoke alarm. <laughs> but I'm sitting there on my fucking phone while. I didn't even notice that the whole room was filling up with smoke. <laughs> now, the most important question. Was stupid. Was the pizza, was the food salvageable? I ate a little bit, bit of it, but well, it wasn't the best. Because mm. I, I, I was scared to cook it more. Of course, of course, of course. There's too much smoke in there. Have I, had, have I had dinner today? Yeah. I did? Mm-hmm. What did I have? The pasta. Oh, like a, like a late lunch or the dinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you? You took everything out of the packaging, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. My first thought was the cardboard, yeah. but you yeah, would have known no, from the beginning because yeah. that's the usually the rookie move is like you leave it on the cardboard 100%. and the cardboard. Yeah, no. Which is like yeah. something. No, it was that just happens. like there's, it was a, a pepperoni had and cheese had fa- fallen into it and somehow it, I don't know how it just sparked a flame. Is that grease, baby? Well, you know, you, uh, you had a fire a couple months back. The same day we had a fire, you had a fire today, <laughs> and we had one a couple of days ago. Um, Coincidence? I think not. I would time life books. Would you mind telling the story? Because you had a you you got a real kick out of this one. You got a real kick out of this one for some reason. <laughs> She's already laughing. She can't. She's laughing at me, which is the part that bugs me. So I want I will let her tell her hilarious is it funnier story. Funnier than the just for men. Beard? <laughs> oh, f- fuck's sake. No, no, no. Because she's laughing no, like that. No, 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 no. No, that, the beard one no. was no. absolute <laughs> roaring laughter. It was 
good. And that was that was directed at me. This one is laugh because it was like it I mean, was just it, silly. It was just go like, ahead. It was okay. So, so give the whole the build up. I got out of the showers. I, what time was it anyway? I, I, whatever. I got out of the shower, and I was like, oh god, my fucking contacts are like blurry. <laughs> and I just, whatever that happens, right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I like go on with my day and then, or my moments. And then he comes in, he comes home and we're chilling. And he's like, do you smell? No, that? well, we're, so this our, is the our, best when he gives you the offer. Well, you're, you're telling, you're, I know, because I can't remember everything. <laughs> we're laying in bed just watching t- watching TV. Mm-hmm. And then our living room is obviously in a separate room. Right. We had a door closed between the room. So I got up to go about my night. You were going to stay in bed. And I walked in the living room. Oh yeah, that was full of smoke. Yeah, and so he goes, "There's a fire. There's something burning." <gasps> and I was like, "The first thing it I says thought there's of smoke like, in here." Yeah. The third thing I thought of is like, "Oh, I guess my contacts weren't blurry. I guess that was just smoke." <laughs> so she was like, "Oh, good news. It's not my eyes. <laughs> so it's the just the building burning of. down." So I'm like walking around, like I know was what it? to check. That was it. It wasn't there, blurry. There was it was smoke. It was smoke. Oh my God. So I know what to check. I know to check the candle in the bathroom. I light a candle on my desk, and we light a candle in the living room. So I'm check, check, check. <laughs> Just from... go ahead. I don't know why. It's an electrical fire. <laughs> <laughs> She's wheezing already. She's doing the, the fucking thing wheeze is laugh. That, like, listen, you know the smell of when something electric. <laughs> Yes. The electrical smell? Yes. Plastic in there? Yes. When you smell plastic burning, yeah. you can nine times it's out like of ten. It's like I think really hard. No. Smell that. Yes. <laughs> when you smell plastic, you kind of know it's an electrical fire, whether it's an outlet or something in the wall right. or something else. This time it ended up being something else. But I said it's electrical fire. And she just she started no, laughing. I didn't laugh at the time. I held it in. No, you no, didn't? no, no, okay, no. Okay. I held it in because I thought if it's an electrical fire, I need to keep my eyes and ears wide open. So I Why your ears? <laughs> sparking. The sound of sparks. I heard a spark. So I'm like continuing to survey the scene and he doesn't get worked up about much. He doesn't nope. get worked. Okay. He doesn't Is get worked up about much. Really smoky so, at this point. It's pretty it's smoky. It's pretty smoky. And there's a very distinct smell, and I was just like, "Fuck!" So I'm like looking around, it's, looking the around. The room was full of smoke. Did you yeah. call nine nine one? No, because I checked the bathroom can. Because so I went from my bathroom, excuse me, from my bedroom to the bathroom. Her bedroom, not my bedroom. My bedroom. This Jesus is Christ. an only child of forty two years. <laughs> my um, bedroom. I went from our love den to <laughs> the place where we poop. <laughs> Pupe. Pupe. Um, I checked that candle. Then I went to the office yoga studio. I'm calling neighbors at this point. He's call, He's already on the phone with our upstairs neighbors. Didn't understand the logic of well, that. Because I care for them most. Oh, That's like my fucking goddaughter. Gonna, I thought you were like, did someone, uh, whatever. I thought you were like checking in on them to see if they no, lit a fire. No, and also <laughs> like accident. smoke and fire rises. So, so they're was, in most danger. He was danger. doing a salad. So he's on the phone as I, so I go from, my yoga studio, my, to our living room, to the next candle. And before I even set my eyes on the candle, I see my clay, truly my clay star incense holder on our heater. On our radiator. Melting and dripping down. So earlier in the day, she wasn't home and I lit incense because she doesn't love the smell of incense. So when Mm-mm. she's gone for the day, I'm like, it's my fucking incense day. I'm going to rage. <laughs> my incense. So I put it on the heater, gonna which rage. was which was off. The heater was <laughs> off. The heater was off. So I lit it there. So all the ash could just go in the in the heater. And I forgot about it. And then she put the heat on. And uh, that was it. You did put the heat on because I had just gotten home. Is that so? Yes. Okay. I mean, it's cold. I mean, I'm not faulting you for putting the heat on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, you, you, you have no reason to check to see if I place things on the heater which i never right, do right so which you oh, never man. do and so he never he won't have anything even like hanging on the door next to it like he's adamant yeah i'm, I'm about pretty the freaked out about thing. about yeah, house same. fires because yeah, my, my 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 mom set mom and dad's house burned down in yeah, 90s no so, so I, then so we figured it out the culprit <laughs> i told him to hang up the phone whatever and then my brain registered it's an electrical fire <laughs> and i just kept <laughs> replacing Hang it in my head. Like the room is still full of smoke. Like, and she's cackling so, through it. Well, she, oh yeah. Said, so the other thing I did was. Because I was scared. Check, <laughs> check candle, open window. Check candle, open more windows. Check 
oh, the dripping wax thing. And then I just kept It wasn't wax. It well, was, it was clay, fucking melting whatever. plastic. So, <laughs> it was not. It's an electrical fire. I just kept hearing So it. I sent her back to bed. It took me like 45 minutes. Sent her back to bed. He goes, I'll handle this. I sent her away. <laughs> Because she was, she was in the process of going to bed. So, it and was, it was my fault. It was. It was so like I had to get a scraper. <laughs> I was scraping all this melted plastic. I had to take the heater apart oh, and you start. Oh, take it off. Yeah, I was yeah. wondering how you would. Oh. It was such a drag, but man, good God. stuff. It's an electrical fire. I actually, the other night, I um, <laughs> I had a candle on top of my fridge Oof. that I lit. It's close to your top ceiling. Top of your fridge? What a, what a hassle. close to your ceiling? Well, no, I no, really, like I, know I actually have ridge. I have really high ce- ceilings. Oh, okay. That makes me feel a lot better. Actually. They're bigger than my apartment. Too bad and you can't um, put a couch like on the wall and <laughs> spread out a little bit. Um, and uh, I went to blow blow it out, and I grabbed it, and it slipped out of my hands because oh. I don't know why it was slippery. Oh, it slipped. And it fell, oh, and yeah. I had been bur- burning it for almost half the day. So much wax. So much wax all over the place. You need one of those little candle putter out or like, a like old in school, the, 1880s. The, little, the little pointed things that put the... <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that's our next <laughs> gift for you. Oh yeah, I could do that. Did, oh. it, where, did it go over the floor or all over you? Everywhere. All over my <gasps> arm, my hand. The, the Oh, and tonight oh. I also... Uh, I burnt my thumb like really bad because I took out the <laughs> when I took out the, the stuff I took it all out and then I gra- pressed my oh. thumb and I was like oh, oh. did you touch the rack yes oh fucking a I feel like there's always a mishap there was a girl I worked with and last week she uh, spilt hot oil on her ankle <laughs> ankle, ankle. damage oh no. I almost passed out. I'm sure it was nothing, just like Jay Leno's face. Falling off. Yeah. Ooh. What? Was that bad? Yes, it was really bad. How is she back at work? What was that? Oh. Um. She's she left. She she she's out for a couple days, and then those cooks and stuff. They are like fucking cookies. Do you know what Tarnax is? Tarnax sounds familiar. It's Tarnax, like T A R N dash X. Is it a it's a character it's a, in Star Wars? Yes, <laughs> and you could buy it in Tarn a bottle. X. No, it's a it's a bottle of uh, you use it to clean jewelry or to clean old uh, coins. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was uh, a young man, I was we had for some reason a bottle of open Tarnex on our coffee table, <laughs> and I was laying on a beanbag chair <laughs> in front awesome. of the table in a purple beanbag chair. My sister knocked over the Tarnex into my eyes. It <gasps> went into my eyes, <gasps> and uh, I swear to God, it went. Tss- <laughs> but it didn't. I, I was positive I was going to go blind. Oh. Absolutely positive. It turned, so the beanbag chair was pink. You and said purple. It turned purple. No, no, it was a pink chair, and the Tarnex turned it purple oh. and it spilled on it. But when my eyes, and I didn't go blind. It didn't even hurt. It didn't even hurt me. I don't know how it didn't do it, but. Fuck? Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty crazy. Pretty, uh, pretty damn cool. Wow. Um, yeah, wow. so. Boy, oh boy. Oh, those chestnuts do. Damn. They're yeah. almost getting there. close. They're getting close. Um, We're wearing our sweaters today. I, I love yours. Thank you. This is. Um, Mine is. If you're, if you're just listening, uh, this is a leather face Christmas sweater that my friend Todd Newman got for me a couple of years a couple of years back. Look how adorable it is. My niece so would cute. just kill for that. She, if she kills someone, she can have it. <laughs> I'll make a deal with her. And you wore your favorite Christmas purple sweater? My purple. Mm-hmm. My Isabel Meron. What's that What's mean? What's that? She's a designer. I only wear Balenciaga, so <laughs> I don't know. That's all I wear nowadays. Um, um, can I tell you about? Uh, this, I was on a stakeout this morning. Like a like like a spying on people. Uh, well, can I just tell you this story just super quick? Why, my why stories quick? are really quick. <laughs> if, I mean, if it's good, take your time. <laughs> so my friend, uh, her daughter goes to a high school in town. Okay. Um, and it's a public school and last week it was, uh, um, on lockdown twice in one day. And they told the kids that it was because of a home invasion across the street. But the kids are so desensitized now that they were like, ah, whatever, (laughs) home invasion, you know what I mean? Like they don't, it's not serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so my friend was like, well, there's got to be more to this story. I don't, I don't, 
I don't believe that it was just a home inv- invasion. It could have been, but I don't think it was. So the other day, I we go and I drop her off, and she walks inside, and there's a security guard there that's a disgruntled, dis- uh, a, a disgruntled security guard. That so, doesn't sound like a very good thing. No, okay. he starts to, he spills the fucking beans. <laughs> He's so mad because as she walked in there, she was like, Where is there, like, a buzzer to let guests in? Where is there a metal detector? Where is that? And he goes, you see that machine over there? And she was like, yeah. He's like, 50 grand. Never even set it up. She was like, what? He was like, yep. It was a a metal detector that hadn't been... It was a... it's a It's a device that scans the kids so you know exactly who is coming into the school. So if it's a stranger, someone that doesn't go to school there, it's some very like, like facial fancy, recognition. Yeah, it's like a, it's a, yeah, but like there's NSA no, shit. Okay. Yeah, but there's no, there's no metal detect- detectors. And I guess what we learned is that in, at, in LAUSD, there has to be after that shooting, like a few years ago at, uh, I think it was Ulysses school. Mm-hmm. There was a shooting, a kid got shot. And from then on, they put metal detect- detectors. Then I guess a couple of years ago, someone said, oh, you know, that feels weird. I don't like my kids feeling like there's metal detectors. Like, you know, and they had the I wands. I actually agree. And they had but the yeah. wands. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's, you know, all the shootings now in schools, it's kind of so like scary. Going the, it's like going to the airport every day. Right. Mm-hmm. But, oh, hot court. Oh. So she then learned that the lockdown was there was a freshman who carried, who had a gun um, not only did he have a gun, but his mother has been coming to the school every day for a month, begging the teachers and principal to help her because there's something wrong with her son. Oh, for fuck's sake. And she's afraid of what he's going to do. Now, every one of these school sh- shootings, that's what we fucking hear every time is every time you hear he was bullied. The mom said, the mom or dad say, well, he had issues. He, I, you know, I told somebody he had mental health issues. He wasn't, you know, I, so she was like, what? He's like, yeah. So she, the mom There's started. There's either zero warning signs or a thousand warning yes. signs. Yeah. And so the mom started to come to the school and shadow the kid in each of his classes. And the teachers were getting pissed because she was scaring the kids. Like, the yeah, kids you can't like, have someone's it? mom in class. But so then she'd wait outside side of the room because she was that concerned about that, what her own son was going to do. Yeah, and I guess he's adopted, so she oh, learned well, all of go. this. But I mean, yeah. like, but no. then I was like, well, how, why, why do they know that he's adopted? And I guess he was a is a maybe a foster kid. Okay. So she said he has emotional issues. He has some mental health care. But uh, so on Jesus. Friday, he brought a, a gun in. They lost him. And then he came back with the gun. And you can just get in a- anywhere in the school. And she was like, that's it. And then, so, then the mom, get this. The mom went to Channel 7 and Channel 4 oh. and spoke about, about it. They videotaped her. She was on the news. But where is that news? They squashed it. They like were like because the uh, uh, the 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 principal there and the deans there were like no 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 let's not let's let's brush this on like no let's not t- talk about about it so, mm. what the fuck I can't imagine the um, news would listen to the principals no the mom went to the news well, okay, okay and said my son carried a gun into t- t- to the school uh, twice and. I'm concerned. I've been there every day for a month, and he, I'm afraid he's going to do some something bad. Nothing. She went to the doctors. Nothing. There's nothing that pe- people are doing. I guess he smokes pot in the hallways. He's in, he's a freshman. Mm-hmm. He's a baby. So what has happened since he brought the gun to school? So n- n- nothing. They didn't expel him. There's no... <laughs> he's still there. Or No, 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 no. They didn't expel him. He's not there right right now. I think because he's, of high what, sc- he's a high school kid. High school. He's a freshman. I think because they're they're going on into break, that he's not at school now. Okay. But two weeks ago, I drove up, and I dropped her off. Or I, we 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 were about to drop drop her off. I said, "You don't sound good. You sound like you have a cold." And she's like, "I'm fine." I'm like, "No, you don't sound good." And then I was like, "I feel like you shouldn't go to school." And she was like. 
why? And I'm like, I just feel like maybe, maybe you have co- co- COVID. I don't have co- COVID. I'm like, no, it, it just, you just sound, you just sound, you don't Off. sound good. Yeah. And then my friend was like, yeah, you know what? You don't have to go if you don't want one to. And she was like, no, I want to go. And I started to pull off and I go, I don't want you to go. And, and we just left. She goes, like, oh, okay, that's fine, you know. And that day after school, right in front where she always stands, a kid got stabbed and almost died. At the same school? Same, same school, right in front where she always stands. This is why I always tell people, as soon as you can, drop out of school. <laughs> I've been saying it for years. You but know, I was it's, saying, a, it's a jungle out there. It's like, the thing is, is that it's like... If if you're told, you, I I feel like you shouldn't you shouldn't smoke. Like you should stop sm- smoking because you could have a heart attack. Mm-hmm. And you keep smoke smoking, it doesn't ha- happen. But you were warned. It's just like that. It's like you were warned over and over again. It could happen. Like and so also it's like, like what, it's, you're taught like. If you see something, say something. And when people try to say something, you're like, "Ah, it's not. It's yeah, fine. Not, so you know, teenagers, they always bring... We had, a, we had a kid bring a gun to school at the at one of the school dances. Don't say his name if you remember, but really? he was very, very little. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, you know who it is now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he brought a gun to to, uh, to our like 7th or 8th grade eighth grade dance. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And, uh, but just to like... He was like, yeah, check out what I got. Up, yeah. yeah, it wasn't... There was no like intent there. Right. But, but now, yeah, nowadays, it's... I don't know. It's just wor- worrisome. So we were on a stakeout this morning. <laughs> yes. And yeah, we let's talk sat, about what we were doing. What so were you we hoping s- to see? Well, we sat in front of the school. Did you get donuts? She, she was... No, but we went and had br- breakfast. But she was concerned about what may or may not... What may ha- mm-hmm. happen... So she's like, if I hear anything, if something goes down, like I have a knife, I'm going to, I'm going to fucking jump that kid. And I'm gonna, <laughs> like, I Is mean, she going to go every day to school to stake it out? No, I don't think so. Should we? But I think they're taking her, her out of there and, and putting her into a say, different we, school. We can cut this out of the episode, but if she wants help, like we can just kill the kid. Totally. Let's get rid of yeah, him. Yeah, you cut that that out. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, let's let's kill the kid. Wow. No, we're gonna keep that in. It's wow. so sad. Like that's crazy. No, it, yeah, it was it's nuts. A, it's a tough time to uh, be a kid. I was just we were just talking about um, online bullying the other day, and just how like growing up is always hard, no matter who you are, no matter what your, your circumstances are. Growing up and going through puberty is very difficult. But can you imagine the added pressure of like? Instagram bullying mm-hmm. and people having pages dedicated to ripping on you and knowing like getting a screenshot of what your friend said about you in a private DM no, somewhere I would, and just that's I right, like te- teen um, suicide and like cutting and depression is just skyrocketing. Yeah. Um, I have a story. I got made fun of at work the other night. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Um, I had a guy who I was talking to him and they had just sat down and he was English and I was like, oh, I remember I was like, oh, what a cool accent. He had a big beard. Did you show him your English accent? <laughs> no. My English accent Hello, is sir. Good, though. It's a pretty good. It's, it's pretty, pretty great. Good, pretty good you can barely even tell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Was that Last English or an like uh, extra uh, chromosome? <laughs> Last week I had a little, so it was him and his girlfriend and they were like, they were like beautiful. No, what? no I didn't even know what that meant. Stop. What's that talking about? I'm just, Dan. You no. have to, if, you, if you're wondering what I'm doing, you have to go watch us on YouTube and subscribe. I don't, I don't like that. Um, so. My chest itches. Uh, anyhow. What was I going to say? You got made oh, fun of at work. So he, I said something and I must have. I don't know, started a little bit, but no, I'm not like a bad, I'm not like Mel Tillis or like, you know, and he goes, oh. and I looked at him Mm-mm. and I go, I just, I felt like it was like, a ep- it was a scene from anywhere, everywhere. Have you seen that movie? Yes. I felt like I was anywhere, everywhere. Yeah. I Great felt, movie. I felt like I was places. like, like I went back to when I was a child. It happens quick. And I'm standing there with like my little shoes on that I used to wear. And I just felt like my pigtails. And I was just like, mm. and I looked at him and I go, yeah, I have a stutter. And he goes, uh, yeah. 
And I just was like, my heart was like, wow, this guy's a fucking dick. I am going to try to devil's advocate for one second that maybe he was trying to be funny and like connect. Maybe he thought it was a regular stumble, mm. not knowing you had a stutter. And then right. when you said it, he was instantly just like caught off guard and still maybe still trying to be funny, but like just two swings and misses. Was he a That's dick rough. otherwise? He was a dick. Okay, a well dick. then fuck that guy. Yeah, so fuck that, guy. that sucks. And either way, he, 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 he could have said I'm sorry instead uh-huh. of going, like, wow. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and then uh, I still stood there and I go, um, he's like, yeah, I want a Casa Amigos and soda. And I go, we don't carry that shit. It has vanilla in it. <laughs> <laughs> and Heidi is now unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> And he goes, oh, oh, I, okay. He was all like speechless and blah, blah, blah. You know, I could have made fun of him. And I was like, I was like, what about some um, Ocho Plato? And he goes, well, what does the bottle look like? And I go, it looks like a bottle of tequila. <laughs> like I was, I hated him. I, I hate, like I was picturing picking up a knife and just uh-huh. ah, like stabbing yeah. it in his neck. Yeah. But then that, I was just like, that would have been the right move. I right? Think. Like, Murder is the. I think so. Yeah. So yeah. then they ordered two drinks, and I went up and I told uh, the server I was working with, and she told, I was outside. We have, it's a like a like a restaurant that has an inside and outside, and yeah. uh, the manager <laughs> was so fucking pissed. But I felt so loved that P- night. Who's pissed at the guy? Oh, oh that's they, nice. Yeah. He, he was like, "Do you? I'm, 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 I'm gonna ask him to leave." And that's I go, "No, no, no. Then I feel bad. No, no, no. It's okay. Just if he does it again, it's, it's fine. But uh, they usually, took a, a picture of him. Mm. Oh, they put a big X on his name into the thing. The hostess came out, who sometimes I don't think she likes me all that well, and she came out. She's like, "Heidi," I screamed it, and I was like, "Yeah." She goes, "Where is he?" And I was like, "He's on over there." And she was like, Ugh, "Um." Oh my god! Fun. Like everybody was so mad. So Guys, listen, come on. I mean, That's so yeah. often, like a boss, it's, yep. it's all about the bottom dollar. Yeah. Like yeah. it's about the money. Yeah. You need to have a tougher, thicker skin or whatever. But yeah. when people rally around you, that yeah, that feels big. that's community. Yeah, good but, job. But Other also, people. I hated it because everybody was talking about oh. about it. Oh yeah. And then one of the guys goes, I didn't even know you had a starter until the other day. And I'm like, well, what do you mean the other day? What did I say? <laughs> like, the other day. I was like, oh my God. Like, you uh, sounded so crazy the other day when you were talking. <laughs> oh my God, no. I was like, get to the point, lady. Oh no, my God. that's rough. So then I just like went home and just, oh. Anyhow, that was my. Damn. Story. Well, good good for your bosses and your. Uh, yeah, I felt, I felt. Mm-hmm. So the girl felt, that usually the girl that you usually have an issue with, or the one who mm-hmm. do you feel good. totally different towards yeah. her now? Yeah, everything's good. Hell yeah! See, mm-hmm. some good can come out of bullying. Yeah. It can patch <laughs> up other areas. <laughs> yeah. So if you're True. on the fence In about fact, bullying she, someone, do it. She was the one I was working with outside, and she was the one who was so so mad that she went and told the yeah. Aww. So good. Feel good. 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 Um. um can I can I just tell you who I waited on the other night? Are you, can you? Can you? I don't know. I mean, I think so. You have Let's my. See. You have the okay from me. Um. Well, I waited on Jeff Bezos. No fucking way. And his girlfriend. Yeah, and they loved me. I love them, and they gave. They me better have and tipped. Chris Jenner, and her boyfriend. To, to, they were together. Yeah. And what a gross guess couple. They, guess who else they were with. Donald Ju- Trump and Jewel. fucking Ivanka. Jewel. The no. singer. <laughs> I figured it was the singer. Not, Jewel not the gem. was with them. I was like, what is what? happening here? I cannot imagine enjoying a single moment of sitting with Jeff Bezos and Kris Jenner. Oof. They were so nice. Oh. Good. I, Glad people I adore them. Maybe how I much did you this. how much did you make from that from that dinner? A lot. Tell how much? How many dollars? I can't tell. Why? I just, I can't, because I split it with, I pool with other people. Oh, you guys do a pooling system? Mm-hmm. Oh, keep, keep it hidden. I keep like it hidden. that. She's running it down. I'm going to look at it. And we're not going to talk about this it. This is your way. cut? Or this no. The, no, the total. That's the total. Let me see. Wait, that's the tip? Mm-hmm. Just the tip. <laughs> that's the fucking tip they left? Mm-hmm. 
Let me see, motherfucker. Damn straight. I didn't I mean, get that. I don't know what their You know what? They do was. sound pretty wonderful when you think about it. I don't know what their I tab was. I didn't get was. that. And then at the end, they gave me, he gave me a hug, and he was like... Him, him, and his uh, his 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 girlfriend told, told me that they love love my face, <laughs> and she was Are like, "Are you a thruple? She she was like, "Who could say no?" Because I asked her if she wanted another drink, and she's like, "Heidi, who could say no to your face?" And I was like, "This whole thing? <laughs> How much you want for it?" I didn't say that, but uh, was, uh, they were really, I really, 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 really like. What them. was their tab? Uh, can, can you, you even say that? Down? No, can you just write it uh, down? Because that's a well, lot of people. They, because, a, well, well, they rented out the room because okay. it was just them. And he had okay. seven security guards. Damn. Seven security Yum. guards. Seven why? Because he's powerful. You know, he's, I think um, Saudi Arabia is like like not in, because I think they, they were the ones, because I did research afterwards. I'm like, why, why does he have all that security? Um, I think that when he started to date this girl, I th- think so it says in there that uh, so, some so Saudi Arabia or once some, somebody from from there leaked the fo- like leaked the f- photos in his phone. So I don't know if phone. they're like af- not after him, but I don't I don't know. He must have some like people that don't want him to see him a succeed lot. or whatever. A lot. Plus, he's like a fucking fourth richest man in the world. Like I would have security, too, I guess. I used to. uh sort of live with and also was very close friends with a Saudi Arabian princess for a while. He doesn't drop as many names as Heidi does. So it's not as lame. Oh, it's lame, all right. Yep, Um, I was friends with a princess. (laughs) Wait, but so was so so was Dre. She went to school with one. To be fair, there's thousands of them. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not like okay, yeah. princess die. It's like right. there's there's so many. Oh no, this was the Iranian. This was like oh the those Shaw's. are those are it way grosser. Da- those are gross. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them for re- what is that not? No, that's bad. Whatever works for you, dude. Okay. I don't know if I should have s- said anything. Why? Well, it's okay. Can- you can think on it. You, I mean, we we all know that Jeff Bezos and Chris Jenner they do indeed go to restaurants, mm-hmm. and sure. all you're saying is that they were very nice and they're great tippers. Mm-hmm. I think we can leave that in. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, but Jewel, maybe we got to cut that out because that's confusing. What's up with that? So weird, right? I yeah. guess her and his girlfriend are friends. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I like Jewel though. I know. I would like to uh, lay she's down with her. She's Carmel. awesome. I'm fine with that. Can I do she that? Had a cool suit. Suit on. And oh, uh, so Jeff Be- Bezos' girlfriend's ex is Tony Gonzalez, the football player. Who's that? <laughs> Who the fuck is Tony Gonzalez? He played for the Chiefs for a long time. I even know him. He's he's on like NBC Sports and stuff. Hey, more importantly. He was nice. Everybody was nice. It was great. Can I change the subject? Mm-hmm. I have a very important question to ask you. Please. Have you ever met someone so insane that they eat the entire apple, core and all? I have. Long time ago. Who what, was that? What are your thoughts about someone who eats the entire apple, core and all? Insanity. Right? It's not good for you. No, it's it makes does it make you worry about the person? Yeah, their mental health? It's going through their fucking esophagus, all that shit. And like Do you think that person should you should stay away from that kind of person? Just, okay, just, how about this? Somebody in this room. If you were Darren eats. <laughs> I, as soon as you were saying, I was like, "I bet Darren eats the whole." thing. Darren eats the whole fucking core, the whole apple. You eat the whole seeds, thing, even the seeds, the, even the the, the stem. No, I don't eat the stem. Oh, that's, that's oh. too much. I eat, the, I eat the butthole. Yeah, the you know the bottom butthole. of the apple, the butthole. Which weirdly, Dan and I called them that, and we no never, one we've never discussed history. it being called the no. butthole, but we both called it the so butthole. I'm, I mostly flick out the seeds if they're very obvious. Yeah, but I don't. Like, I, I will eat them. I'll consume them. But there's nothing gross inside the core. Does it's it not make about you gross. It's just like... Make you poop weird? Mm, no weirder hurts? than usual. No, nothing is weird. She poops upside down when she has the apple core. <laughs> I also, like, core. don't peel my carrots ever. I don't peel I don't most fruits No, but and you, vegetables. you clean the dirt off the carrots. Of course. I clean the dirt off the apple, too. There's no dirt on the inside of the apple. And there's, um there's what is it, arsenic or something in the... What is it in the... What? 
There's some the reason arsenic is the best part. The reason people apples? freak out about the apple seeds is because there's I believe oh, that's it's right. arsenic they're poisonous or something. Or something. But mm. it's like hey, is that an it's old like wives' tale? Neglig- I mean, they're, it's probably in there, but you have to consume rather large amounts. I mean, to this day, I've had no ill effects of apple. Well, maybe core maybe your eating. general attitude and like your the your thing, attitude problems are because of the apple. But like. <laughs> The thing is, it's an electrical the, fire. Don't, electrical don't fire. get her back on this. The, the amount, okay, the amount of apple that most humans leave when they dispose of it and yeah, typically crazy. not okay. compost okay, listen to me. is fucking oh. terrible. No, no, no. Terrible. This fucking chick right here. <laughs> this you fucking should, chick. Let, let, listen, let the boss. Go ahead, go ahead. Then. You should see how, okay. <laughs> When normal people, <laughs> when you get to the end of the dish soap, like mm-hmm. you know when it's over. Mm-hmm. We keep it for three more weeks because there might be just a toothpick's tip left of soap that we might be able to utilize. It's upside down, falling over the fucking sink for weeks after it's it's dead. I it is water. dead. As lo- I this, okay, okay. And her bottle. toothpaste. <laughs> do you have a do you have a crazy toothpaste right now? No. She cuts the toothpaste off with a scissor and like scrapes the rest of the toothpaste out until there until it is fucking <laughs> bone dry to not waste. Which is like I, I That's hate, amazing. Shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Don't get her back on this. I would never no, do listen. it, unfortunately. It's not I'm amazing. Not, it's not great. I'm not like it's it's do. sick. <laughs> It's a sickness. <laughs> She's <laughs> mentally ill. Um, I have another electrical fire story, though. What do you do with like old like le- lettuce and stuff? Do you do you say oh save saves it? it for years? No, you cut are, it around it and eat it. Yeah, I'll yeah. cut off any bad spots. But if it's completely shit, I also compost. So I don't feel as composting bad is about. slang for no room in the freezer for anything. By yeah, the way. How, what, what, what do you what what does that do? I know Nothing. I sound composting. ridiculous, but so I bring it to a farm that has a composting. It's a composting hub, and uh-huh. they a hub. How come like I'm making fun of her for saying compost three times in a sentence? Like you made fun of me for saying <laughs> undercover the other day. Because I'm brilliant, and I went to brain school. Um, I bring it there, and then they they have like volunteers that till it, and you mix it with um, browns. <laughs> And then it's like way better soil that's high, like very nutrient dense. So the other day, Dan goes like this. He holds, he holds a kitchen utensil. He holds a kitchen utensil and he goes, what's this called? And I said, a spatula. And he goes, wow, it really helps for getting the last remnants of sauce out of the jar and scooping it out of the pan. It really just works wonders. A spatula? Oh. Never been so Wait, fucking bored so, and praying for death where, that I am during this compost talk. Where do you talk. put the compost? I put it in a bag. In Why the are we freezer. still talking about it? I put it in a bag in the, in the freezer, freezer because I I don't go very often to oh. my composting hub. There's been times when I have to buy less ice cream than I would like to buy Excuse because me, no one buys shut the fuck up. Of shut ice the cream fuck up! Time. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I'm the head of this household. I'm the fucking man of the house. I should be able to buy a hundred and fit it if I want and to. I should be able to with I trash! With trash! I'm saving the planet! This is fucking bullshit. Got, ladies, I'm, I'm on the market as of right now. <laughs> Anybody want to play with my pee-pee? Damn it. Hit me up. I'm a freebie. <laughs> I'm on the fucking market. And I'm ready to fuck. Oh, oh my God. God. <sighs> ah, I can't I'm wait. Compost. If you have any vegetable scraps, throw them my way. <laughs> Guys, or feel free to help her compost, ladies. I'm ready to fuck you. <laughs> Wait, is that what? Is that like? Is that have to do do with like poop too? Like some pe- people like put their, our like, freezer is full of poop. Like, no, but they like she never poop shits in the into toilet. Like a, a bucket. Oh, I don't do that. They, that's a composting toilet. Those are called Chinese people that's or a, Thailand. Stop. People th- that's a composting toilet. Thailand people. Our next step. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking humiliated. <laughs> Thailand people. Shut, don't say it again, please. <laughs> oh. My favorite is Thai- <laughs> Thailand food. Uh, Shut the fuck the up. The food that people, the uh, Thailand people make. <laughs> Thailand people. 
There are some call the Thai. Oh. Thai people. Oh. We are oh. United States of America people. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Those chestnuts done yet? <laughs> our, our next step I is I'm putting your... a bucket in the shower to collect gray water. Oh, get out of here. What? What's gray water? It's like all the water that's wasted in when you take a shower. Can we, I, I can't. I don't, you can put a... Listen, I don't want the show to ever be helpful. It can't be helpful. If it's helpful, it's like uh, ed- educational. I don't want to be educational. <laughs> Fucking lame. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, and then you like water your plants or some shit with it. I won't do that, just oh. so you know, and you won't participate. Right, right, okay, I already shush, know that. Enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I know my platform is done. I'll get yeah. my own podcast and talk about. Please this do. Comedy. Oh, it's gonna be a fucking smash hit. <laughs> sign up. Sign up for the fucking compost Patreon. It's gonna Does be your killer. Take meat and eggshells? Why are you talking over me? What? Because I'm your fucking wife. Mm. Oh Not, my well, God. you were. I've are decided you, it's over. Are you watching? It's over. The White Vampire Diaries. I haven't Lotus? seen it. Still. What's that called? White, White Lotus, Lotus season we two. We've not started yet. Season. Wow. But okay, cool. listen. Wow, Listen. that was funny. Thank you for that. You're I need to ask you a question, Heidi. Mm-hmm. I know Darren's answer. Mm-hmm. Um, are you vabbing by chance? <laughs> you don't know my answer. I don't even know what that is. Vabbing? I know you're right. Vabbing. Vabbing. Is that like va- vaping? Close. Have you noticed? Hello? Have you noticed recently? Those are the um, chestnuts. <laughs> have you noticed recently <laughs> getting any more attention from men? Any like any looks, any compliments? I actually have. Have you started vabbing? Does that have anything to do with my vagina? It does. What? It's talking, like gabbing. It's vabbing. <gasps> talking vagina. Vabbing is a new craze, ladies. Uh, where you dip into your own little business. Yeah. Put a little behind your ear, a little on your wrists. Instead of perfume. Shut the fuck. You put the old pea uh, juice and on how yourself. Do you know I don't do that. I fucking know. Oh. I know. Wow. Because I'd smell you a mile away if you were. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's beautiful. Oh my god. No Dude, vabbing. <laughs> Thailand people. The Thailand people. Okay, her, her mic's <laughs> off. Her mic's off. Are you vabbing for real? No. So it's no. a new craze that ladies are doing where you dip into your own pea juice and put a little back here. So and then it attracts, the people who are attracted to your pheromones can... Yes, float vabbing. over like a like a Looney Tunes cartoon. Oh, I can see that in my head. That's yeah. funny. Pretty wow. fucking crazy. No, it's really kind of disturbing. Have you heard of this? Have you no, ever heard I've of it? never heard of it. And mm-hmm. mm. I, I, I get how it could get weirdly it. work, but like I, I can't imagine mm-hmm. people actually doing it. Mm-mm. But... Apparently it works and it attracts strangers and raccoons and dogs and yes. all kinds of shit. Um, oh. You never heard of it? No. Never. Yeah, vabbing. It's sweeping no, the nation. Never. Never, um, never. If you were a single lady, would, either one of you, would if would you lady. consider it? No. No. Eh, it would flash by my, like, I would entertain it a half a second. And I then would move do on. it. I would do it. I might start doing it with my jizz. Oh, okay. Good but on my face. That's good. It'll oh. style your hair. I think it might. Okay. I think it might be a good idea. Vabbing. Vabbing. Anyone in the audience, have you guys ever heard of vabbing? Are you vabbing, guys? Are you attracted to vabbers? What's up? What age group is doing this the most? Uh, I don't know. Mm-mm. I think like four to seven. <laughs> That's disturbing, please. How about little boy? Nice oh, to meet you. Oh, he's taking it to the next level. Yeah, no, no, they're the go. same age. Um, Here we go. Uh, um, <sighs> can I tell you about something? You don't have to ask. Can we get off this subject? Yep. You Seven. said get off. Oh, I yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> Ew. Mm-hmm. Gross. Mm-hmm. Um, I met a girl this weekend who... Congratulations Thanks. to you guys. Thank you. That's really nice. She's a friend of a friend and she lived in Norway. She's Colombian. She's fucking beautiful, inside and out. Whoa. She has a business in Norway. She has a dog. She has a boyfriend. And she was with her boyfriend, and I met them out to dinner. And uh, she has been expelled from Norway because she's missing a paper in her documents. She she got there in in August. No, in May. <coughs> and... 
how many months is that? No, she got there in August. It says she got there in May, and that's wrong. She got there in August, and she even has it on her pa- passport. But anyhow, she needed a document to put into uh, your work v- visa. Mm-hmm. And she was at a wor- work event, and the woman who worked for the Norwegian government said, Oh, I got your thing. Um, I pushed it through a little too soon. I hope that doesn't affect you. She was like, what do you mean? And she was like, I put it through without the document that you you gave me at the last mi- minute. I, I hope that doesn't fuck you up. Well, she was in her house, and she got a no- knock on the door. Cops. They took her. She she was able to get a backpack, and she her dog, thank God, is a service dog. And so she grabbed her dog and her backpack backpack and her passport they threw her into the back of a cop car took her to jail the norwegian jail which i think there was a vice article or hbo or netflix it's one of those things had a uh, a show about the norwegian prison s- system and that guy who shot all, all those kids do you remember that oh um, yeah of course he fucking has like a playstation didn't he, he kill fucking, like he killed like 99 people or something 99 kids a fucking yeah. shit ton of kids in norway he's about to get out because I, I believe if i'm not mistaken i believe norway has a maximum uh penalty for any crime yep. is 25 years or oh, 20 something years so like, like that yeah. you could kill one person or 1500 people yep. and, you, and you will get oh, out yeah. and they have a uh, rehabilitation s- system like no other like um uh, her her boyfriend was t- telling me that he works with a guy who did a white co- collar crime, like his taxes. He's in there for two years. For a whole year, he didn't ha- have anybody come visit him. So he's like, I'm going to go visit. He killed 77 people. Yeah. Most of them children. Al- almost all kids, yeah. In two, in two locations. And one of the girls he, c- he killed, her father was a Hell's Angel guy. And he like s- stood out and like by the like the prison and i'm just I, as soon as he's let out he's gonna fucking some, someone's gonna kill, kill him i would murder him if he killed my he would be a he would be a fun or, one to kill you know what i mean like he's a horrible human being when he got into jail he's also a far right racist dude when he got into jail he said i this is the old place sta- station and they got him a new fucking one Are you kidding me well, the old one does suck. <laughs> I mean, listen, uh, Anders wait, Breivik wait. is a piece of shit, but like, he shouldn't be playing a PS2. <laughs> oh so wait, so wait. So she, I get it. So she heads to jail. She's like 25, 26. By the way, just, not getting him a new one would be considered cruel and unusual punishment. Oh my God. Okay. So Continue. So she goes to jail for 24 hours, and she's they, they put her in there with these women from Afghanistan who are are peeling fruit, speaking of compost. Com- compost, and they're trying to talk to her about what happened. And what happened to them was they were sent there from Afghanistan, you know, when they, they shit, they're, they're refugees. And they get there, and they're s- separated from their kids and their hu- husbands. Haven't seen, seen them in months. Have been in this jail for that long. And they're crying and they're like, we don't know what to do. Like, wh- they don't have help. They don't. And so she's in this part of the jail and she's like, what? The- the- she's hearing these stories and they're awful and oh my God. And then they come in and they get her. They take so she's, her. So she's Colombian living in Norway? But she's she grew up in, in Florida. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, so like, her, her like, English is... She's good English. Perfect, yeah. Okay, because people in Norway speak pretty good English as well. Okay, they gotcha. actually, I just learned too, in Norway, they have to take English in school. So everyone there knows English. But That's basically all of like Europe knows English. Country. It's but pretty lo- incredible. But a lot of them, I learned all these things. A lot of them, a lot of Norwegians will not speak English for the life of, like they will, they, they refuse to speak English. It's so bizarre. So anyhow. So bizarre. So she, they take her to the airport. She has to go with a, with four cops surrounding her, walk up to the ticket agency, yes. She there one night or is this the same day? She was there for 24 hours. So okay. next, next gotcha, day. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Um, and did, didn't have anything with, so she, they, they take her there and she gets her ticket and they give her her ticket. And then she has to go wait in a room, a cell that's in the airport. She can't sit and have a cop coffee. Can't sit and do anything. She didn't do anything. The woman, it was a, a an error, a clerical error, error. And they're treating her like she's a fucking criminal. They, she can't even go on the plane on, Normally, they take her on the tarmac, and she has to go the back way up the plane. They put her in her seat. The pilot has her passport and a big thing that with a big X that says expelled. You are never to come back to Norway, even though she has her own home that she bought. She has her own business that's really doing well there. Her boyfriend. It's insanity. The cops, they don't know that. They don't know that there yes, was... Yes, a- they do. Yes, they, they, they do. figured out where the mistake was. No, she told them all what happened well, when of they course, got but when also, they got her, and they also have the pa- papers as to why. And it says in there, there's a paper that's missing that she she, she didn't. Why have. the fuck didn't the woman fix it at the place when they when she made the mistake? I don't. I mean, that's it's crazy. Just, I guess it happens a lot over there. It happens a lot because it's very. She was saying that you know Norwegians are a little bit la- lazy sometimes. She said they don't like to do the footwork. Um, and you know, this is, I'm with two other pe- people that are my, my, that I've known for a long time who are, who, who are from there and they agree and they're like, it's insane. It's We awful. should start a Norwegian genocide. Do you think we should probably, <laughs> this, what, what's white beautiful the earth. people. They really are beautiful people. And I'm part, why we just found, found, found out that my grandmother was part half, uh, Norwegian. Norwegian, but isn't that crazy? It's Poor crazy, thing. but I also understand it. Like I, I yeah, I get like, both sides. Yeah, you, you have a law. If the paperwork's <laughs> fucked up. If your passport, your visa is not legal, you have to leave. Unfortunately, there was a mistake made that for some reason the woman didn't correct. Right, so they, but they, they're you doing what they have to do. Have to leave like that. Maybe not. She got put into the back of a cop car. She got. She spent the night. But she's in also jail. Colombian. I bet she had a pretty fucking bad attitude. They're, oh they're, my no, God. they're pretty. They're f- Colombians are fiery people. No, she. If you see a picture, she's a like like an activist woman. She's one activists of, like, are more fiery not, than anybody. Not activist, but she's a very like soft spoken one, like beautiful, like. Soft I know some Colombians. Person. They're fucking. Oh my god! I'm, I'm, no in, I'm being reason, serious. Like, but be- there's no reason to do that to somebody. To have guards with her at the airport. To walk her on the tarmac. To treat her like a criminal. Like in. And I'm her back sorry. To, is she in Florida now? She back in Florida. But here in the United States, people fucking complain and bitch about. Oh my god! I I have to do this and this. Yeah, look at the other countries. We can't go someplace and just walk on in and fucking get it. You have to go through all this fucking shit, and then you're you're okay. Then you get your shit, and mm-hmm. you start to work and all that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I do. It's, it's crazy. Fa- it sounds, it's very unfortunate, but I also, yeah. like I said, I, I, I do understand both sides, but it, it sounds very shitty. It sucks. Yeah, I just, com- I, I mean, I couldn't believe it. She's talking to Vice. I guess Vi- Vice is going to do an episode on it just because of the manner that they expelled her she should have vabbed i think if she had <laughs> no don't you think about it had she vabbed maybe they would have been like we should probably let her go she smells really she's this gross. chick is so beautiful she smells fertile ew. what do what, you i mean i guess i don't know everybody's vagina smells different <laughs> true, true, Heidi. True of words. Have now we're getting seen. somewhere. I don't know why you went to that. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Mrs. Claus' vagina smells different than the devil's or whoever. I can't even imagine Helen doing Mirren. that. Would, I, I don't even think about it. I'm yes. going to go out tonight. You don't have to make that sound when you do it. That's, <laughs> a, that's your natural. <laughs> you do, you do. Gross. It you seems do. very very much like you would make that sound if you do that you know <laughs> just try it out <laughs> see if you can catch yourself a new fish um um Do what else mean? could we say <laughs> um what word would you use i'm not making a joke what mm-hmm. word would you use for a person who is attracted to and has intercourse with children ew no, not of course ew what's no. the, what's the word ew. you would use um there's a word for it Psychopath. No, there's an actual word for someone who has sex with kids. A pedophile. That's right, but they're sh- taking sh- it away. Shame on you. That's not your call. That's not what they're called anymore, Heidi. I know it's fucking ridiculous. You know what it's called now? No. What What are they called? I forget. 
They're called maps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. You no longer say pedophile. It's a map. It's a minor attracted person. Yeah. That's that's. Don't great. insult them by calling them the, the P word. We don't say that anymore. That's great. A it's map. someone they have a problem. They're there. Say it again. A minor attracted person. That's like on Blue's Clues. Map, map, map. It's not map. even grammatically <laughs> correct. It's killing me. Why? Minor attracted. Yeah, you're attracted to minors. It's m- minor attracted. This like not uh, a attracted proper... to minors. I it is correct. I understand what you're saying. It should but be d- apes. Like <laughs> what's that? Attracted. Pedophile. Oh, wait, no, I, I spelled that wrong. It should be amps. Attracted. Whatever. Wait, go on no, with no, the story. Let's go. Where, what's amps? Attracted. You don't say male attracted or. Well, you, you, you can't have an anagram unless it, it's easy to and say. Don't have a fucking. What about an ATM? Yeah, let's just call them fucking pedophiles. Exactly. Yes. Wow. Maps. It's, hor- is- it's so, it's too much. They don't deserve to be insulted with this horrible word with such a, Minor. has such a, Wait, what's has the such a, what's the word? It has such a stigma. Yeah. Pedophile is a horrible stigma. We don't want those people having that stigma. What's the P? Fucking people? Person. Person? Minor attracted person. It's Maps. Oh, it's not even- Did you hear about the guy who hit the young girl in Texas? So, okay. So this I'm little listening. girl went missing. She was oh. seven. She was so oh. cute. She walked out of the house because she got into a fight with her parents, which when I was seven, I used to pack up this little white suitcase. I had a red one. Did you? And I'd walk. It's like going to grandma's. Yes. Oh, mine. Mine didn't. Mine. mine, mine I'm like, out of here. I did. Yeah. I packed it. Yeah. All the time. Me too. I was pissed. I was mad. I'm out of here. And my parents would never come looking for me because they knew I was in the bushes in the front of the house. <laughs> Just sitting there like, I'm waiting. And then I would go, I'd get sleepy and be like, oh. and then I'd walk in and be I like, yeah, you. well, I'm back for a little bit now. And they'd be like, oh, we were so worried about you. No, you weren't. I'm back the on the road <laughs> after dinner. <laughs> feed me and then I'd go. Nothing's changed. I'm still the same way. <laughs> I'm out of God. here after yeah. food. After food. Um, But so she got, it was hor- horrible, but she, she got into a fight with her dad or whatever walked outside and the FedEx guy was there delivering a present from her mom for her for for Christmas. Allegedly, he accidentally hit her, like ran into her. She was fine. He picked her up and he's like, he was scared she was going to tell her dad. So he then put her into the van and took off and then strangled her and left her in a ditch. It's horrible. No shit. Can you? Who the fuck Heidi, does that? I feel like today, especially on Christmas, <laughs> you have forgotten that this is a comedy podcast, and it's been wall to wall horror stories and missed uh, un- injustices and child murder. <laughs> This is not a true crime podcast. We're not here to solve the world's problems. We're here to make fun of people with disabilities. I'm just because saying that's a long, like, why would you do that? Well, I get it. Like things get out of hand. You don't want to get in trouble with the dad. You don't want so, this fucking, so this alive. fucking yapping little bitch to tell on you. So you got to get rid of the problem. <laughs> and then. And he got fucking All caught. good. Fucking How do you get caught? Um, I think oh, you know they, what? I no, think they saw like the car that the the the, the Fed, FedEx also, they went to ask him. all the FedEx vans they have like cameras inside the fucking yeah, what cab. A dumb, dumb. Uh, so they're like at the station, just watching uh, this guy like. What a dummy! So she didn't get the gift. <laughs> oh, it's is that right? Sucks. Can the mom still return it? Is the return policy? Is it within thirty kept, days? If she kept the receipt, you should ask Bezos. I'm sure it came from Amazon. <laughs> ask him. So I hope you, are you, Mr. Bezos, um, are you enjoying your meal tonight? <laughs> yes, everything fine. Uh, Miss Jenner, good. <laughs> Jeff, I'm um, Mr. Bezos. Question for you. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you saw on the news yesterday, but in Texas there was a seven year old girl who was murdered by a FedEx guy who was <laughs> delivering a package. <laughs> Um, from Amazon, from her her mother who no, now has from her anything. mother who now has no daughter. Um, would you like what's the return policy on like murder kids on murder kid presents? Um, you know, Amazons uh, are always like, just keep it. Refill on tater tots. You, okay, uh, but um, <laughs> anyway, Mr. <Tater> Bezos, <laughs> tater tots. <laughs> you work at Denny's, right? <laughs> Fuck you, work. They rented out the private God. room at Denny's. He buys it for one party and then has it torn down. 
<laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, man. I hope I don't get in trouble for talking about that. The murder of the child? Oh, no. No, you won't. You won't. No, I don't think... Jeff doesn't listen anymore. No? Oh, Since Todd okay. left, he doesn't listen to he the show anymore. Oh. He, um, um, yeah. That he's, is... A, that on, wonderful, uh, though. Joking aside, that is a wild story, and I... I imagine this I really is not like the him. first time. No, I'm talking about the murder guy, the murderer, oh. the FedEx murderer. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> I hate little girls. I, love him. Um, I am guessing that guy, it wasn't just uh, a moment of like, fuck, I don't know what to do. This guy's hurt people before. He has yeah. to have. Yeah. I just finished the Dahmer show finally after it being out for months. Have you oh, watched it yet? I haven't watched the whole thing. Oh, you stopped? I mean, I kind of li- lived it. What? What? I lived in Chicago, and then I we went to Milwaukee and stuff a lot. I mean, I was around there at that time. But you didn't. I mean, well, you weren't a part of the thing. No, but the story, really. the, the and seeing the acting in it, it's a it's a He's pretty great so show. Fucking good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. There's it, what? Huh? Gone. No, I just couldn't believe. Like, I mean, it's it's known knowledge, but I'd forgotten that. Like, at one point, he was trying to turn a fourteen year old boy into a sex zombie. He had a fourteen year old. Uh, how do you say it? La- La- Laotian? La- Laotian? 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 It's from Laos. Laos. Yeah, Laos. Laos, whatever it is. A Laos person. T- <laughs> um, he was 14 years old and he had drugged him and was drilling holes in his skull and pouring acid in to try to make him a living zombie. Mm. Right. Okay, so just I just want to pause there. This is as gross as my other story. Mm-hmm. And you said I ruined cr- I was well, I'm Christmas. Make, but I'm basically. making it funny. Go I'm going to make it funny. <laughs> Go on. No, no. I was. We're going to end on, on horror. But this kid got away. He mm-hmm. we made it out of the apartment. And the fucking cops returned him yeah. to Dahmer who immediately killed him. Well, because he couldn't talk and they were asking yeah. him and the guy and, and, and Dahmer's like, it's my, it's my boyfriend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that woman who lived there was always like, I oh, know there's something wrong with him. Um, wait, I just have one little thing to say. I guess my story's over. Go ahead. <laughs> was it? I, I don't I don't know. Know. <laughs> so the other night, on Sunday night, I had a dream, and I hardly ever remember my dreams anymore. Do you remember your dreams? Uh, if they're noto- if they're notable. Do you remember your? Do you, do you dream a lot? I dream. I dream so much that I feel like I never sleep, and really? I remember everything. <gasps> yeah. So Sucks. I had a dream on Sunday night that there I saw these three huge palm trees, and they were the. I remember I was in my dream, and I was like, "These are the biggest palm trees I've ever." This is insane. Didn't you just dream about trees? Mm. I dream about a lot of stuff, so I don't remember. So trees. and they were uh, white palm trees, and so I remember I was like, "This is so weird." And then there was one palm tree that was like almost had fallen over. It was like about to fall over, like just maybe like I don't know feet that well. Maybe like a feet <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> no feet. That, maybe feet. a feet off the ground. Maybe a foot. One feet off one the feet ground. Off the ground. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She really doesn't know feet very well. <laughs> I don't know feet very well. I don't know that was measurements foot. very well, or I don't know whatever. It was a few inches off the ground. Okay, more th- whatever. It's about a feet off the ground. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One feet off the so ground. Stupid. <laughs> um. So just take that out of there. No, we're gonna play. I'm gonna loop it. Dan, loop it. Go ahead. Um. And you you could see the inside of where it was uh, torn. Do you know what I mean? Like it was up falling the roots. You could see the roots inside. And I was like, wow, look at that. It's about to fall over. That's so crazy. Okay. The next mo- next morning, we're in the car and I'm with my friend. And is this a stakeout day? The day of the stakeout? No, this, is the, oh. this was yesterday. Okay. And on the news, I hear... Oh, man, this morning in Long Beach, there was a palm tree that fell... Palm trees never fall, they said, onto a car, and it it crushed the passenger side. There was nobody in the car, so it was fine. But it was they it, they said it was so strange that, and I was like, what? And I felt like I was gonna throw up because I was like, oh my god, I saw my whole dream because I forgot about. I didn't. I woke up. And I don't remember. By then, I. No, that was it. But isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. It's fucking mysterious as fucking shit. What is this? No, it is. It's just creepy mystery okay. music. It's good, though. And then what happened to the palm tree after that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I saw the picture of it, and it looked just like the one in my dream. It wasn't Come white, on. but the whole inside was like, you could see like that was my dream. No! The in- 
This is not possible. Dad, I'm telling the future, okay? Are you Clarvia? I am ESPN. Uh, you're ESPN? Yes, I have ESPN. For real? For real. Like in your brain? Yeah, in my brain and in my fucking boobs. So- <laughs> <laughs> It's for mean. It's for mean girls. Oh, it is. Yeah, she's like, I can tell when the weather is going to be rainy <laughs> because of her boobs. I'm yeah. sorry, because of her boobs. Her boobs. Um, I too am clairvoyant. You are. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm gonna end the show on the saddest note. On Friday, I was watching a movie. <laughs> I can't even be funny about it, but I'm gonna be funny about it. On Friday, I was watching a movie, and I have a uh, my uncle got diagnosed with brain cancer recently and on friday i was watching the movie and i'm like oh oh he's gonna die tomorrow he's definitely gonna die tomorrow on this is friday night and he died saturday (gasps) i knew it i was watching the movie and i knew it yeah what was the movie uh oh my god is it sad no i'll talk about the movie and then we'll get out of here but i'm I'm gonna send you a link for this movie what is it it comes out next year Mm -hmm. it's called skinamarink Kidding, it's kidding. a it's a kooky kooky name. Um, Skinamarink. Skinamarink. Is it and like the, a skating rink, and they skin people there. Yes. Yeah. No, oh, it's not at all. <laughs> <laughs> the premise is. <clears throat> Bless you. Uh-huh. It takes place in 1995. It's all shot on like an old camcorder. It's it's the movie's so dark, so grainy, and all you hear the whole movie is <laughs> at the sound of the camcorder yeah. for an hour and forty minutes, and. There might be, in total, one minute of dialogue in the whole movie. It's so slow. Did you see it? No, but it's about two little kids, um, Kevin and Kaylee, and one of them's four years old, and one of them's like a bit older. And they wake up in the middle of the night, and their father's missing, and so are the all the doors and windows in the house, and so they're like, like lost. In, this, in their own home trying to figure out where their dad is and what the fuck is going on. The movie is so... Uh, is it scary? Avant-garde. Yes. It's so avant-garde. It's it's blowing up on TikTok and, and TikTok kids, whoever the fuck's on there, is saying it's the scariest movie ever made. It's not that, but I've never seen a movie like this before. Skinnamarink? Skinnamarink. Why is it called that? I, it's... I don't know the song, but it's based on like an old kid's song. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, oh. skinnamarinky doo. But it's skinnamarink on that. And this one's called Skin. I thought it was skinnamarinky dinky dink. I thought it was Skid. Anyway. Skid? The, skid. But the only real audio you hear in the movie is like the cartoons the kids are watching and like occasional dialogue where the movie, it, it's super creepy. It's so slow that it almost feels pretentious, like you're getting annoyed, like what the right. fuck is going, like do mm-hmm. something happen. It pays off. It's in, There's some parts that are so incredibly disturbing and uncomfortable. Um, and uh, I had to go, at the end of it. Is it French? Nope. It's can, it's a Canadian guy. His first movie cost him 15 grand to make. The budget is, I mean, it's microscopic budget. Yeah. Um, but when it was done, I was like, did I hate that or love it? I wasn't sure what I th- felt. Yeah. So I had to go and I found a YouTube video where someone gave their opinion of what it was about. And I had this breakthrough moment of, holy shit, this movie's fucking genius. If that's it, it's genius. Wow. But I'll send you a link. Okay. If you guys can, I mean, you can, people can find it right now. It doesn't come out until next year. Um, but it's like, it was, it's leaked. I'm, I'm, I imagine the guy leaked it himself. Yeah. But um, I've truly never seen another movie like it. But it's very disturbing. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Like it, it's it's so dark and grainy and like it's so it's so dark that you're looking at the screen and like your your brain is finding things that may not be there, whether it's faces or maybe there is faces there. I don't know, but it, it's Ooh. you have to watch it in it's the not dark. It's gross, right? It's not like there's no, there's nothing there's okay. nothing gross, there's nothing like um Gore, like, there's gory. nothing gory in it, yeah. um, but it's disturbing. Mm. It makes you it makes you incredibly uncomfortable. Oh, I love it. And it's so slow. We're like it, it 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 it's very tense. Um, but I'll send you a link. People try to find Skinnamarink. Uh, Skinnamarink. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna make. I've never seen something like it. So, other stuff. We'll get to it next week. I think. Um, 
for our New Year, our big New Year show. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's no, we should uh, talk about it after. We'll talk about it after this. I we should do something special for New morning, Year's. And or, in the afternoon. What are you doing? I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. We've, we're, we've moved on. We've moved on. All right. Thanks for coming, Heidi. Uh, any other horrible shit you want to talk about before we uh, get <laughs> out know, of here? They still haven't found the killer. For of those girl, those the people, of. yes. Didn't they arrest someone? They arrested. They have not arrested anyone. They arrested someone right near there who has murdered before, but they have not been able to tie him to. I believe this is true. They haven't been able to tie him to those murders. Right. But a murderer was arrested within a mile of that house. Right. He was. He had mur- He had murdered somebody in two thousand seven. Oh, so we, yeah, that can't be the same. But guy. wait, they they arrested him like re- recently. I thought someone was arrested recently, not for the murders, but someone was, was arrested near else. there. It was for something else. It was like for like some, Idaho which is how most people get caught. Murder. Yeah. For, you get like, picked up on like a, a parking ticket or something. Right. Or they have a, a blinker that that's out or something. Interesting. Idaho murders arrest. Let's get an update here. Um, there also is a Ted Bundy like killer in Tijuana. They're warning people in LA to be careful. I just don't, I can't like believe that, hook, that you can still hookers. be. Ladies of the night, I'm sorry. I can't believe that there can still be serial killers because of the cameras things we've talked about right. before. Mm-hmm. I just can't believe it. Any one of those shows, like 48 Hours, they all fucking get caught from your phone mm-hmm. and a camera. It's like cameras and fucking trees. What? Mm-hmm. I ring CCB. Like, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying. I'm trying to see if there's an. I don't think he. I don't. But he wasn't arrested for this. No. 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 Or, Supposedly, There's a guy arrested near the scene of that crime for arrested for something else, but when they found him, he had he had murdered in the past, uh, and was, he's out of jail. Mm, Whatever. I don't know, but what the but the dad of that girl who supposedly had per- perhaps a stalker said that he's mad at the police that they're not warning pe- people to be careful and be safe because there's somebody out there. Some people just always sadistic, be careful and like, safe. Yeah, but this is more. If you lived in that town, I would be like. Police say they're getting. Be, police are getting good tips four weeks in, despite the lack of uh, of real progress. But they're getting good tips. Good tips from mm. who, like. Yeah, like <laughs> from uh, Jeff Bezos and his girlfriend. Yeah, oh my God. yeah, good tips. Oh, good financial t- tips. <laughs> All right, guys. Merry Christmas! Merry what a Christmas. treat this has been. Merry Christmas! Um, I'm grateful. Wait, it's not Thanksgiving, is it? So it's not about what we're grateful for. But it can I'm gra- be. I'm grateful for both you guys. I'm grateful yeah. for you both. And um, I'm grateful, I'm, I really love my presents. Which ones? Oh, we love, we love yeah. your presents too. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah, I don't know what we do without your presents. Oh my god! To be honest with you. Oh my god! Um, those chestnuts are ready. Let's grab some chestnuts. Totally. Yeah. We'll sing I Silent Night. I'm like so excited. Yeah. Chestnuts. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming. Um, everybody, <laughs> Merry Star Christmas. How I do hope you eat so. a ch- chestnut? Okay. <laughs> You just put it in your mouth. <laughs> Isn't that hot though? It's been <laughs> roasted on an open fire. I never knew what a chestnut was until we went to the Chinese party. I never had Chinese one until party. then. Yeah, you know? it was Do delicious. You peel it? I didn't. Oh, that, but, yeah, but you also yeah. eat the whole <laughs> apple. <laughs> but she eats a bag of Doritos. It's plastic and all, just the whole bag. She eats a bag of Doritos like a sandwich. Damn it. I set myself up. For okay. Them. They're delicious. Okay, bye. Um, Heidi, can you um, just parting words for the for the audience? Just like something. Wishes for their holiday season um, mm-hmm. it, and anything that you would want for gifts, um, just in that camera. Anything I'd want for gifts? Yeah, do you know what gifts are? Yeah, but I, I don't, I'm not asking for gifts. Hey, well, well, off air, you complain all the time that people don't get you stuff, so oh, this is yeah. your ch- <laughs> So here's your chance. Um, I don't need anything. Okay. Um, I don't want a lot for Christmas. I don't <laughs> I <laughs> There's something I forgot the lyrics. I was gonna say the. I'm sorry, whatever. I fucked it up. It's okay. Start it again. It's okay. Um, I don't get. I don't. No, but give them give say. them seasons greetings. Seasons greetings. I don't even know the lyrics to most songs. Most I'm not asking Christmas you to songs. sing. I'm just asking you to speak from the heart to your audience. Yeah, I really love everybody and thank you for the kind words everybody always sends and mm-hmm. it's very nice. I love this. I'm happy that you're part of the show for this uh, Christmas season and look forward to another lovely year. Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh. Okay. Well, yeah. You too, Darren. You too, Darren. Thank you. Yeah. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas. And Do you know that? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And to uh, all, a good night. Rare Form Radio. I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Rare Form Radio. You are my favorite show. Rare Form Radio. You're bringing joy to millions of dick fucks. Rare Form Radio. Slovakia, especially.